Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back. Uh, first time in a while on Doc's channel, but uh, I'm here, I'm going to be bringing you uh, replays of all three of my uh, Round 1 World Cup games. Uh, help Doc out a little bit. He's been a bit of a, uh, of a lazy bastard recently, not giving his fans the content they deserve. So, uh, no, but he, yeah, but for real, he asked me to, uh, or he asked me if I wanted to narrate my three games, uh, put them up on the channel. If I have time, I'll do some other ones too. But uh, yeah, for today I'm going to be recording, uh, going over and narrating all three of my replays. Um, or all three of my games, I should say. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is my first game. I play for US Midwest. Uh, I'm playing Zamrock, who's from US South. Uh, you see we have a nice AIDS mirror match here with the rain. Uh, only thing different on the two teams is that we have two different psychic types. So he has a, a Lele and I have a Reuniclus. Uh, my Reuniclus is Energy Ball, uh, which obviously um, you see matches up really well here. The really reason that you, the reason that you use E Ball mainly on Reuniclus, I think that's the best coverage move right now on Reuniclus because it um, it still hits Gren and Tar super effectively. Uh, without risking missing Blast, but it also means that you could hit Sableye, and it also means that you Oko Quagsire, so it means that Reuniclus just absolutely, like, devours stall. You, like, pretty much 6 uh most stall builds, because they don't really use Clef anymore. Most of them are using Quag as the unaware mon, so you just, like, nuke Quag with, like, a e E-Ball, and then they just kind of lose. Um, but yeah, I, if you're weak to Heatran, Focus Blast is better, but if you hit, like, this team is, like, Rain's obviously not weak to Heatran, I think E-Ball is infinitely better, uh, because it helps in the stall matchup, still lets you hit Tar and Grand super effectively. Uh, so I end up leading off with Pharaoh here, as Zam leads off with Lele, uh, he all pummelings me, I knew I could live any hit, so I gyro balled. I was really happy to kill the Lele, because, like, Lele's a huge threat to this team. But at the same time, it makes me incredibly weak to his Torn and his Gren. So I don't think that my play was optimal. Like, I wouldn't call it necessarily, like, a huge misplay because I was really happy to get rid of Lele. But I still think it wasn't the best set of plays that I could have made. Uh, after thinking about it, really what I should have done is gone into Torn there because it scouts HP Fire, it scouts, fi it scouts Fight Z. Um, like, the only way he'd stay in there is if he was Fight Z or if he was Specs HP Fire. But why would you be Specs HP Fire on Rain? That doesn't make sense. So, I was assuming that it was probably... Like, the only way he'd stay in really is if he was Fight Z. So, I should have just scouted that with Torn, And then I could have just pretty much claimed something with my Z move. Like, I don't think I'd kill the Lele. But at the same time, I would have... If he stayed in, the Lele would have taken, like, 90. So, that was probably my best set of plays. But regardless, he's able to go into his Greninja here. And I'm put in a really shitty position because Gren... Uh, his Gren's gonna click Hydro Pump here, and if it's able to connect two pumps, it gets a kill, it gets Ash, because, uh, yeah, uh, my Pharaoh, I, I'm pretty sure it dies to pump from here, but either way, my, my play was always to go Greninja, because, um, if he wants a Dark Pulse, I live two Dark Pulses, it's my only thing on, it's the only thing on my team that's gonna take two specs Dark Pulses, um, and if he wants to pump, I could hopefully dodge, right? So, <laughs> dodge man out here. So, I have to go to my own Gren. That's like my only play. I don't want to just stay here and give him Ash for free. Uh, I think my better place to go into Gren and hopefully he dark pulses. Uh, so, that's my set of plays. Obviously, if you're Zam, uh, if you feel like you, if you, if you're up for the challenge of hitting some hydro pumps, you click it here because it's the best overall play. Uh, otherwise, you could just dark pulse so you don't miss. But yeah, I guess that's up to him. Um, but yeah, I'm always going to my own Gren here. Yeah, so, but pretty much this Pharaoh taking this huge hit was really bad, like, because, like, look at his Tornadus for me now, and look at his Greninja for me now. Um, at the same time, I knew that, that was, those, they were both going to be problematic after I let the Pharaoh Thorn take the hit, but I was still really confident that my Reuniclus could win. This whole game, I, or, like, the whole game, I knew that my Reuniclus could win, so, um... I just wanted to stick to the game plan of, like, doing what I needed to to get Reuniclus to sweep. So, yeah, I go hard into my Greninja here. He does pump, takes 62. I'm like, well, shit, how about you let me win this tie here? I think I go for pump as well. Uh, my thing here is I just want to pump, potentially win a tie, and get off, like, the same amount of damage on him, which is going to help a lot, because if I'm able to get up, like, rocks or, like, or a spike, probably not a spike, because my Ferrothorn's, like, dead. But if I'm able to get up rocks and keep them up, then the, it limits how much time the Gren's going to be able to come in. Uh, so I really want to be able to hit this Hydro, win the tie, and get like 60% off on him. Obviously, if you're Zamrock, you're just going to pump again. There's absolutely no reason not to. So, uh, yeah. You see me thinking here, um, because I realized that I'm going to be giving this thing Ash Formation, and that is really not a good thing this early in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fortunately for me, he misses pump as I connect my pump. Uh, 
yeah, really shitty for Zamrock. That was a big play. I mean, letting this, that was like a free 60% I got off for no reason. Uh, so really unfortunate. Like, I really just wanted to win the tie there. I guess it works out pretty similarly, but I also stay alive, which is good. So now here, Zam's obviously going to be going into Ferrothorn, right? Um, but I can't make another play except for Pump again in case he wants to stay in. So, but he has, like, because I have no other check, but he does have a check to Pump, Specs Pump, so he goes to it. Um, now at this point here, I am pretty certain that he might want to double back to Gren, but I don't want to stay in and pump again if he w and just let the Ferrothorn get up free hazards for no reason whatsoever. So I end up, I think I switch out to Reuniclus, uh, but he, I think Zamrock, yeah, Zamrock does make the double back into Gren, so I was kind of mad at myself because like this double was like pretty, e like I thought it was a pretty obvious double on his part, but I just didn't really have the balls to click pump again. So I say bad play on my part. Um, I should have just clicked pump. I should have gone with my instinct. But I go into my Runiclus here. Obviously, this is my win con. I'm not going to stay in here and take a pulse. So I have to just sack something. I think I end up sacking the Ferrothorn because like a 19% Ferrothorn doesn't do anything. So I just sack Pharaoh. Um, I think... Oh yeah, so if you haven't noticed yet, we have some some uh, clean nickname schemes here on both sides. So we have the, uh, the Thor n nicknames on Zamrock's side. The Pulp Fiction nicknames on my side. Two powerful assets of nicknames going against each other in this game. But yeah, you're going to see soon here, I'm going to sack my Ferrothorn as Zamrock is just going to Dark Pulse to claim his kill. Uh, from there, I'm going to go into my Swampert, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So we sack the Ferrothorn. I go into my Pert. Uh, Pert lives Dark Pulse pretty easily as long as I don't get flinched. Uh, obviously, Zam's not staying in here. I think I just Earthquake because I don't want to... If he goes Ferrothorn, I don't want to like... Um, take barbs damage because barbs damage will put me in range of the gren and it'll also if he has like a healthy ferrothorn that comes in uh for free it just gives him free hazards pretty much so what i do is i just mega in earthquake uh thinking maybe he'll go pharaoh want to get up a hazard or something uh he actually goes hard torn uh which is why i should have just rocked because that was my best play regardless but like, i didn't think like damage on this doesn't even really matter pretty much all i needed to do is get my reuniclus set up like i've been saying that was my thought process the whole time or whatever uh so here what i'm gonna do is uh weigh my options what's my best chance of not losing to tornadoes now that i lost my ferrothorn and have no flying resist uh, i decide that my best play is to go into my own tornadoes because i am z move i know that he's not z move so for him for his tornadoes to beat me 1v1 it has to hit a cane on the switch win the speed tie and hit another cane so the chance of, of him hitting two canes and winning a speed tie that's like pretty that's like pretty decently in my favor uh like percentage wise so i'm gonna go into my own torn he's able to hit the first hurricane so now i'm just gonna click z move because still at this point right like he has to win the tie and hit a 70 percent accurate move so it's still in my favor for my torn to come out on top on this turn uh so i'm just gonna click the z fly he doesn't have a flying resist either so uh i'm pretty much either going to kill this kill something or do like 70 to ferrothorn so either way this was like a perfectly fine turn for me i actually have focus blast on this tornadoes too uh so it's z fly knock u-turn uh focus blast which is really cool because focus blast uh you're able to like oko you know f or you're able to like oko uh tyranitars and stuff um also do a lot to ferrothorn i guess i could use superpower but fuck that i'm all about my uh my damage output so that's why i went for focus blast uh, so yeah, okay, you see him dodge the hur- or see me dodge the hurricane kill it with Sky Strike. Obviously really shitty for Zamrock, uh, but like I said, going into that turn, the odds of my turn winning were definitely in my favor, so I think it is what it is. It's it's Hurricane. You have to hit two Hurricanes and win a speed tie. Uh, that's going to happen very, not very often at all. So I sack Marcellus Wallace here to the Dark Pulse as I go back into Vince Vega. Um, yeah, so now... I'm in a pretty good spot. Like, I really like my spot here for Reuniclus now that Torn's dead. Because I think if I'm ever able to get my Reuniclus in free, that means on a turn where it doesn't have to eat an attack, I'll be able to E-Ball kill either Gren or Pert because he's not going to let me uh, set up for free. And then from there, I'm in a good spot. So this is my my plan here. Okay, so I Earthquake again as he goes Pelipper. Once again, I, I don't want to take Barbs for no reason, but like... This was just like a bad play. I should have just rocks. I just ignore it. that play was bad. Whatever, fuck it. All right, but what I'm gonna do now is rocks here. I know if he wants to U-turn, it's good because rocks are up. Uh, if he wants to stay in and scald me, like the or this pert's never gonna win with the Ferrothorn and a Pelipper here. So what I want to do is just rocks up because that's gonna force him to fog, 
And that means I can get my Reuniclus in for free without taking damage, like I was talking about before. Because if I if I switch my Reuniclus directly into a Scald, I'm taking like 35% or four, 35 to 40, I think, or some shit like that. Which is like, obviously, was really bad. Uh, so he actually shows that he's Hurricane, but yeah. So now I'm in Shuriken range, which I thought was shitty. But at the same time, it gives me a free Reuniclus, as he's probably going to Fog here. Uh, and now that gets my Reuniclus in free, so I don't have to waste a turn recovering. So I could get off a free Energy Ball. Uh, and that was this game plan. That's why I rocked that turn like i said i'm pretty sure like i knew that the perk can never win the only reason that i wouldn't want to let it take the hit is to keep it out of shuriken range but at the same time it's more important for me to get this uh reuniclus in here for free without having to take 40 percent or 35 percent from a hurricane um yeah because now that i'm at 100 i could throw off a free energy ball uh i'm 99.9 .9 sure he's going hard swamp right here it makes the most sense because rain's up for one so brain boosted waterfall is going to shit on me and he should be able to live any hit. So it covers me attacking, it covers me call minding, but it doesn't cover an energy ball. So, but I, you're not going to predict the, the damn thing to have energy ball. So I don't really blame him for that, but uh, yeah. So he goes hard into Swampert right here. Bop with the energy ball, dead Swampert. Uh, so yeah, I, his Swampert wasn't winning anyway because I had a Pelipper, but yeah, it's still, uh, that was amazing for me. So I think what I'm going to do here is sack my own, I think I sack Pelipper here, yeah, because Pelipper doesn't do shit. Um, or do I say I either sack Pelipper or Grand? I don't remember. But because Rain's up, I sack one of them and then go into my Swampert afterwards. Uh, yeah. Still knowing here that the Reuniclus could do it because now that the Pert's dead, it puts him, it puts Zamrock in a really bad spot whenever I get my Reuniclus in because he can't afford. To, if he goes hard Gren on an Energy Ball, he instantly loses the game. Um, but if he lets me call mind up enough times, then he also loses the game. So like I said, I put him in a really bad spot. Okay, so I'm going to go Swampert here. Uh, obviously, if he loses the Gren, he loses on the spot to Reuniclus. So I know he has to switch out. So I'm going to double right back into my Reuniclus here. Uh, and put him in this, like I said, like this awkward spot. Like He has to decide if he's going to hard into Gren or not. Um, if he hards into Gren on a call mind, it's... I think I still might live a Dark Pulse, but the problem is it puts me in range of Pelipper, so that's like really bad for me. Um, so, yeah, like even if I think it would have done like 90 something percent, and then even if I kill him with E Ball, he goes into Pelipper afterwards, and now I'm a 9% Reuniclus, which is pretty shitty. Uh, so, but yeah. If he switches into Gren on a um, on an energy ball, he instantly loses. So like I said, it puts him in a really bad spot here. Uh, is I do catch the Pelipper on the double, which I knew I said I knew one of those two were coming out because you can't afford to risk Gren there. On because um, if I just earthquake or waterfall and you die, then I instantly win with Reuniclus. So what I'm gonna do here is call mind up. As Zamrock's kind of gonna think of what he needs. So he hurricanes here, uh, does 33 percent. I think I. Um, call mind again or do i recover i don't remember yeah so hurricanes again again not wanting to risk i uh, recover doesn't want to risk gren on a potential energy ball here so i'm go he hurricanes is i uh call mind again uh and now i think i just call mind a third time i want to say oh he confuses me and i recover yeah, so now here I energy ball, because I know now that I'm confused, he might try and take advantage of that and get the Gren in here. Uh, if he stays in, in Hurricanes and I energy ball, I lose nothing by it. So I take this opportunity to, en heart, or to energy ball here. Uh, we'll see what Zamrock play he makes. Uh, my timer was running pretty low. I had to think this game out. Uh, definitely was a tough one because uh, I let the Ferrothorn take that all out pummeling turn one. But uh, I put myself in a really good spot here that I could potentially bring it back. Uh, so yeah, after that, I was really happy with how I played up to this point. We'll see how this end game plays out. But yeah, right now, Reuniclus is in a really good spot. Um, yeah, okay, uh, he's still thinking this one through. I guess I was thinking through as well. Uh, but yeah, I just end up I end up clicking Energy Ball here. I feel like it, it like after thinking about it, it's very risk free for me to click Energy Ball. Um, Unless he like crits me, and he would have to like double crit with Pelipper to kill me, so yeah. Mm. Shit, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say, so I was just quiet for like 30 seconds. 
All right, so here we go. Hard into Gren. Is I energy ball? But no, I hit myself in confusion. I'm like, oh shit, fuck. All right. So to be fair, like this was like a deserved hit myself because like I dodged a couple moves. More so, like I said, the hurricane miss. I don't really call that hex because that was in my favor anyway. But the hydro miss on turn two was definitely something. Uh, luckily, somehow I break through confusion and flinch. And I'm able to kill that damn thing. Uh, and now, as long as I don't hit myself here or get crit, I win the game. So, see the Hurricane does 18, I snap out and recover. And that's going to be the end of the game. The Reuniclus does pull through in the end. Like I said, um, the whole game I was pretty sure that like, this was a good win condition. I just had to play it right. And uh, it ended up playing out pretty much the way that I expected that it would. Like if I'm able to catch Pert on the Switch and then get a couple Call Minds up, I knew I had a really good shot of winning with this, uh, with this Reuniclus. And it ended up playing out just like that. So I was happy with how I played, like I said, outside of turn one. Um, yeah, good game to Zamrock. Sorry for the dodges. Like you see me saying that here. Definitely wish, um, you know, I... Just hacks in, in general is like a really shitty part of the game, but it's the game we play. Uh, gotta try and take advantage of it as best as you could, and I feel like I was able to this game, and it uh, led to me winning. So yeah, at this point I'm 1-0. Like I said, I had three games in qual or in uh, round one, so I'll be doing those, I guess, pretty much right after this. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.